Hey everyone, Val here. This morning's breakfast is a three egg omelet with a little bit of cheese and my grapefruit. I also have my vitamins and my fiber water. That's going to be breakfast for this morning. Today, oh, what's today? Today is, uh, is uh, Monday, so I have to do my weekly weigh-in and uh, I have to take a minute to add up my numbers here before I do that but uh, it looks like it's going to be a fairly nice day. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be but I know by Wednesday it says it's going to be about 70 degrees. Let me pull it up on my phone. It says it's 36 now. It's cold. So uh, I'm going to stay inside today. I'm going to work on my quilt that I'm working on in the craft room. I stopped at Walmart after church yesterday and picked up some fabric because I needed some black to outline my squares and I needed uh, something for the backing but I don't think the piece I bought is going to be big enough. I bought a four foot piece but I don't think it's going to be wide enough. So I may have to make a trip to Joanne Fabric sometime this week but I wanted to put the front of the quilt together first so I know how big it is. So I know what size piece of fabric to buy. I can use, the other piece is red. It's just a plain red. So I can use that in anything. I'm always looking for plain fabrics to use for the inside of the linings of the bags that I make and stuff. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to return it because I, I know I can use it. Especially, you know, come Christmas time. It's a pretty red, Christmas red. So not too worried about that. Uh, besides that, uh, it's almost the end of the month. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's almost March. Our cruise is at the end of March. So I've got to get ready for that. But uh, i got to get the mortgage scheduled to be paid and uh, look at the finances, I guess. And uh, look at what's coming up in March for... Uh, for you guys for YouTube so I think we have a cooking collab coming up like the second week the second Sunday in March and we have our second Tuesday in March is our no tag Tuesday Steve and I recorded that yesterday so we're ready to go with that one I just have to edit it and put it up and uh, I think that's about it that I have I like a scheduled thing, but I got to look at and see what I want to do. I got to take time to sit down. I think uh, maybe I'll take some time today to sit down and try to figure out what I'm doing for uh, the next couple of weeks as far as menu planning and uh, YouTube planning and all of those things and my daily planning, what I, I want to do during the day and that kind of fun stuff. So I'm not sure what's going on for this month coming up. So let me eat my breakfast and I'm going to come back and uh, once I add up my numbers here and give you my numbers for the week. This is how far I've got on the quilt I'm working on. I've laid down the pieces. I have these squares all finished and each square is the letters of the alphabet. I had only had 10 squares so I needed 12 so I did the beginning and the end square and just uh, the red and white patterns. I bought this red material at Walmart when I was there and this was the ones I was using for the corners here. So I had that material. I picked up the black material at Walmart and then I picked up a red for the backing um, but, oh, it's over here, but it's not going to be long enough. This is, says, uh, 44 inches wide. I think this is 46. <laughs> so from this point to this point is 46. So I need about 48 or so, because I'm going to flip it on the edge and do the edging with it too, the binding so I need to finish these today, putting these rows together, and then I'm going to do a black strip this way and on the edges so that I have black going all the way around and between each of the squares 
and then I'll have to measure it and go to Joanne Fabrics or something to try to get the um, the backing for it. So what do y'all think? I think it's going to be pretty cool. I haven't got completed measurements yet, but uh, that's basically what it is. It'll probably be uh, like a very large crib size or a small uh, bed size. All right, let's kind of look at my calories for the day. Uh, Monday, I had 15.55. You know, my basic eating stuff. I did have brats at night, so yeah, I know. Brats are high. I had one brat. Um, day number two is 12.30 is my calories. Again, it's kind of the basic stuff I always eat. Wednesday is 1295 calories. I did have tuna for lunch with uh, a lettuce, on lettuce with a, a little bit of relish and mayonnaise. And I have the low fat mayonnaise. And I had, I had to, the low sugar gluten free muffins that I made. I had pulled a couple of those out of the freezer and had those. Oatmeal fruit. I made some chili that's homemade chili with um, homemade sauce with no sugar in it and the beans were dried beans so I had chili with a little bit of rice and a garden salad there um, 1255 calories 30, 1345 on Friday you know you're my basic stuff I made the chicken noodle soup with the veggies um, the, another muffin here. I did, this was Friday, Saturday night when we went to the show. They had popcorn and cookies there. I had like one cookie and they had those little mini bite, um, what were they, brownies or whatever. The little tiny brownies. I had a little tiny brownie and a, a cookie. And then I came home and had the, the uh, low fat. It was 40 calories per cup and I had two cups so I figured I figured high on the cookies the cookie and the brownie I figured uh, 100 calories each because the cookie was a fairly decent size but the brownie was tiny uh, not great choices but you know I was at the show and the staff had it there for the staff and they offered it to me so I took it I want I don't know I just did okay rice cake peanut butter for breakfast I had the church had a celebration I had a small piece of cake and I had a soup for lunch when I came home the chicken soup and a yasso bar with that and then for dinner I fixed bacon and pancakes I had uh, three pieces of bacon three small size pancakes. I don't make large pancakes. Sugar-free syrup um, with a banana on my pancakes. I don't put butter on my pancakes. So this was 16. 15 pretty high. If you're looking for the week, I didn't do any walking at all. I counted snacking after dinner for the cookies. No, no treadmill walking, but still I got some steps in. I mean my steps aren't bad, even though I didn't really have any dedicated walking. I stayed as active as I could. I had a lot of things to get done and uh, trying to figure out the printer and the computers and everything else. It just kept me busy. I'll try to do more walking this week. Started out the week at 185.4. You can see I, I lost here. I lost here. This stayed about the same. This stayed about the same. On Saturday morning actually was looking pretty good. And then, uh, I don't know, Saturday, Sunday, uh, just kind of blew it, went back up another pound here on Sunday, and this morning I was at 185. Was it the pancakes? I don't know. I, I just don't know. Uh, I ended up the week with a .4 loss. Uh, hoping again for the better week this week. I'm going to try to get more steps in this week. Uh, just didn't find the time and didn't have the motivation totally unmotivated week totally unmotivated um i don't feel motivated this morning to do anything i really truly don't i'm honestly boy 
what? I'm going to push through it. I am going to try to find some motivation somewhere. I just, I just don't have it. I don't know what I'm missing, but right now something is definitely off. Not feeling motivated. Just, I mean, I'm, I go in, I work on my quilt. That's good. I'm satisfied. I'm, you know, but it's just, there's just, uh, I think I need some sunshine or something. It's been gloomy. It's been wet. It's been cold. It's just, I don't like winter. Um, been the computer issues going on. It just, I don't know. I'm just not motivated or driven to do anything right now. I am just trying to push through it and I'll continue to try to do that. I'm going to try to fit in some walking today. Um, tomorrow, you know, I'm going to look at my calendar, see what where I can fit in my walking, see what else is going on this week, and uh, just do the best I can do. And that's all I can do. So don't beat me up over that because I'm not going to beat myself up. I am uh, just going to try to, like I said, do what I can do. So here's to another week. Let's do the best we can do. All right. I'm happy with 0.4 loss. I, I wish it was more, but that isn't the way the week worked out. I think if I'd have got some walking in and, and uh, it would have been different, but I, you know, it is what it is. I can't look back and, and uh, beat myself up over it. So on to a new week. It's all about the adventure. <laughs> I just I'm just not motivated y'all ah I need to I need some sunshine I need some vitamin D all right <laughs> let's hope for the best for this week and they say it's going to be 70 on Wednesday so uh, maybe I can get outside and get some fresh air that might help maybe I can go for a walk outside or or do something anyway maybe uh we'll see what happens Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. I will catch you on tomorrow's video. I have my uh, live stream in the morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Come on along and uh, pop in and say hi and uh, see what the subject matter is. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye now.